The Smart Sharp is great for sharpening all sorts of kitchen knives. So on this video, I'm going to show you how to sharpen several different sized knives. They're quite blunt as you can see, so I'm going to take you through the three stages of the Smart Sharp to show you how to get a nice sharp edge on each of them. Ensure the Smart Sharp is placed on a flat, sturdy surface. A chopping board is good as a precaution. This just helps to protect your table or worktop. We recommend that you hold the knife with your dominant hand and the Smart Sharp with your other hand. But whatever feels most comfortable and gives you the most control is fine. Knives get put through a fair amount of day-to-day -day abuse. They can be tossed into the dishwasher or thrown into kitchen drawers. So they can pick up minor nicks and dents on the blade edge, which could cause the blade to catch during sharpening. To combat this, we're going to use slot one, which contains coarse diamond coated rods. These coarse rods will help to minimize any small imperfections on the blade edge. It also roughens up the sides of the blade to give it a more even surface ready for sharpening. So take your knife and then with a light but firm pressure, pull the knife through slot one in a nice smooth motion. Do this step around five times. The knife should move through the slot easily. You shouldn't feel too much resistance on this stage. Stage two. This is the most important stage of the process. This slot contains our hardened tungsten carbide plates. These plates will remove small amounts of metal from either side of the blade to sharpen your knife. We're going to add a bit more downward pressure to our stroke and then repeat that nice smooth movement through slot two. You should feel some resistance on this stage as you pull your knife through. If your knife pulls through the slot smoothly without resistance, then try instead pulling your knife through at a more upwards angle until you notice a definite tug as you pull your knife through. This is something you'll get a feel for over time and may differ from knife to knife. So feel free to experiment a little at first to get this right. Once you're feeling some resistance, then pull your knife through the slot with that nice smooth movement around five times. If you're sharpening knives for the very first time with your Smart Sharp, then it's good to repeat this action a few more times. Now for the final stage. Slot three contains fine ceramic rods which for final honing and finishing. This will remove any burrs and gently polish the blade edge to complete the sharpening process. Pull the knife through slot three in that nice smooth motion with a light but firm downward pressure. Do this step around five times. The knife should move through slot three easily and smoothly. Finally, give your knife a careful wipe before testing your knife for sharpness. If you think your knife could be sharper, and simply repeat the process again until you get the desired results. Knives that are very blunt might take a few goes to begin with. Once your knife is sharp, you can maintain its sharpness for longer by using just stage three on every other use. Only use all three stages when it feels like your knife needs a full sharpen. The Smart Sharp is wipe clean only. It is not suitable for use in a dishwasher or being submerged in water. Knives come in all different shapes and sizes, far too many to cover in one short video. So we maintain a troubleshooting and frequently asked questions section at our website where you'll find a wealth of additional tips and techniques to help you get the most for your new Smart Sharp. We also provide expert one-to-one -one customer support seven days a week. Just email us or contact us through our website for any assistance you may need. We are always happy to help.